Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. Do you own a Galaxy device or an Android device that doesn't have an auxiliary port anymore? I know, I do as well. Are you also having a problem where when you use one of those USB to auxiliary device adapters, it is not detecting your external microphone for recording? Yeah, me too. I actually found a video, link in the description, about somebody else who was having this issue, and they said it was a Samsung specific issue. So, me being curious, pulled out my old Pixel, yes the original Pixel, and tried the same chords on that, and ended up having the same exact problem. Very surprising. What this means is that it's not actually a Galaxy firmware problem. It means that there is something weird about the cables themselves. However, plugging the same type of adapter, lightning to auxiliary, into an iPhone seemed to work completely well. Now, why exactly am I having this problem? Let me show you. So the reason I'm having this issue is because I purchased one of these Hollyland Lark M1 series microphone sets. Now they're awesome little sets. Uh, they come with two microphones in here and the adapter or the uh, recorder piece. And each one is able to record to the same track. So you could have two people talking or you could have one person talking. Now, I plugged this in to my Android device and realized, boy, the audio sounds absolutely awful. I wonder what's going on. Grabbed one of these little microphones right here, walked into another room, left my device in this current room, and noticed it was picking up absolutely nothing. Strange. Decided to go grab another cord. Still the same problem. But then I realized I had used my iPhone with the lightning to USB or to auxiliary adapter, and the audio sounded wonderful grabbed the same microphone, plugged it into the iPhone, walked out of the room, and noticed, wow, it's picking up everything. Wonder what's going on. So let me show you my adventures in cables. All right, you're gonna have to excuse the audio because in order to record the issue, I will have to use this phone's audio. So as you can see, there's a lot of cords here. With a Hollyland Lark, you get this regular cable, this is for um, cameras and the like. Um, I forget if it's TRS uh, or TRSS, I believe this is TRS. Uh, and then you also get this one that says for phones. And if you see right here, if I can get it to focus. This is why I don't like using iPhones. Uh, TRS to TRSS patch cable. So this is the one that you use when you use phones but you need an adapter dongle. Now, as I mentioned, I purchased this one for the iPhone. It's an auxiliary to lightning, no big deal. Then I purchased all of these, all of these. So this uh, Ugreen, I believe, is the first one that I purchased. Looked no problem. And that was the one I first noticed the issue with. All right, so as you can see here, I have it plugged into the in or the outlet here, and then this other end is nice and fully connected here, and it's ready to be plugged into the USB-C port. So, how do you check? Um, you open up your video or photos, uh, typically videos. So you have video, which is okay, but the best way to tell is go to More, and go up here to Pro Video. Pro Video is going to show you all these settings at the bottom, and you can see the little um, audios jumping up there. Pro Video has this little thing over here, it says mic, and you can see all the different mic options. You can't change these because there's nothing plugged in. You can change these if you wanted to, to front, rear, back to Omni. But what you do is when you plug in, that mic should go to USB, okay? I'm trying to do this one-handed here. All right, you can see it's fully plugged in there. Um, do to do, do Mike says Omni still. And that's because it's not detecting the device even though it's plugged in. So I can unplug it and we're gonna go test another one. All right, so here we have the $35 one. I'm gonna go ahead and try and plug this one in. 
and see what happens. I'm trying to do this one handed here. All right, come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, still says Omni, and it's fully plugged in. You can see here. Make sure this one's really plugged in. Give it a good click. You can see it still says Omni. All right, now we're going to plug in the official Samsung headset adapter. You can see it's nice and snug. We're going to go ahead and plug this one in here. Do, 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 do. Click. Dang it. Click. All right, there we go. You see that it turned mic USB. It's all nice and plugged in. And as soon as I unplug it, it goes back to Omni. So that's how you can tell if the stupid adapter actually works. And just for confirmation, you can see this one has the no dots. This is the one that came with my Pixel back in the day. And we're gonna go ahead and plug this one in here. And boop, USB. So as you can see, not all adapters are made equal, even though they may say DAC adapter. So that is how you determine which one of these adapters will actually work on your phone. So it's not necessarily a Samsung issue. It's simply that there is no standard for these adapters. They may play audio, but they will not pick up an external microphone. That is a major problem. So after spending probably close to $100 on various adapters, uh, including one that was almost $40 and you know claims that it's going to work, I ended up getting the official Samsung one. Um, however, I'm sure you know something from a reputable person uh, would also work just as well. Problem is, what's reputable out there? We don't know because they're not being held to any standard whatsoever. USB-C manufacturers are not being held to a standard. And that right there really upsets me because you're going to spend your hard-earned money on something that may not even work. Luckily for me, all of these are within the Amazon return period, and I'm going to return them for a full refund, and I will be leaving very negative reviews for the fact that they simply don't work. On their website or on their selling page, it says that these work for audio and microphone. They do not. So, if this has helped you, uh, please leave a comment, uh, share it with anybody else who may be having a similar issue. I hope this helps somebody in the future when you come across looking for something to adapt an external microphone to your phone. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.